How many times were you able to turn your pain into money through songwriting? And were there any times where that pain almost broke you so bad that you almost quit and oh, said, man. you know what, I'm done? Like, it's like, that happened a lot of times. <laughs> like, shit, like, like I said, I would mask mine enough because a lot of it would come through women's songs. So yeah. I would mask mine enough to put it back to them. Then, you know, uh, you know, like Cool with Gwen Stefani, you know, when I wrote that song, then they wanted TLC to have it. But I'm like, I didn't, mm. me and Chili just broke up. So, no. <laughs> And the song is about us being cool now. Mm -hmm. And but I don't want to say no with her. I was writing that for somebody else. Yeah. You know, somebody else sing it, then you don't know where it comes from. I'm supposed to know where it comes from, but then sitting with her, she goes, Oh yeah, well, remember this, remember that? You know, it breaks the song too. And so that song was like, um, you know, once I got it done, I finished it with Gwen and then because I added her stuff to it, it was like, Okay, now that's cool. Yeah. But it's um yeah, man, through all the songs it's always something in there that um, either I went through or I just know how to look at it through a girl's perception mm -hmm. and then just flip it back through them instead of the, you know. With you and Chili both being in the industry, did it make it easier for y'all to be in a relationship or did it make it a lot more difficult? Because a lot of times I hear folks saying that, you know, I'm doing this and my partner doesn't understand what it is that I'm doing and I can't be in a relationship with somebody that don't understand what it is I got to do. Right. But with both of y'all being in the game at the same time, did it make it easier? And then also, what was it like having one of those situations to where everybody was looking at you in the middle of your relationship? I mean, it made it it made it easier at some points, but then it made it harder at other ones. Like you know, cause it's like anything else because you got work involved in it. Mm. Um, but because me and the group was always around each other so much, then it made it easier in that context because you didn't just didn't know it any better. Mm -hmm. But it you know it, it it until you get past and then a lot of business shit was going on with everybody, mm. you know. So until everybody got kind of got situated and grew up through their own stuff, then everybody had junk to go through. Yeah. A lot of it pertains to music, you know what I'm saying? Introducing Biggie to Michael Jackson, those two icons right there. What was that like getting them two together? Oh, it was amazing. Like, um, you know, I didn't think Mike I didn't think Michael was gonna like what he was doing. Um, but when he did it was just like well, it was it was crazy because because seeing the the dichotomy of the two of them. Mm -hmm. You know, because Michael did want that extreme. You know, mm -hmm. he didn't want anything that was nice, so he wanted something that they felt like, okay, th this is how I want to express myself. Mm -hmm. um, well, Biggie was maybe 19. My God. So, man, him sitting in the car, he just pinching himself, like, man, I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, and it was just like, it was surreal for me and him. We just sitting out in the car, talking while he's riding around. And, um, but, you know, and to have him, I think, to have it where, especially during, during that time, you know, rap, hip hop just got to the point. And, where it's multi-acceptable, like, okay, you can be 50 Cent now and get f shot five times and all that, and you get vitamin water and get, you know, and have <laughs> 10 movies on TV. You know? <laughs> Whereas before, it was like, nope, we don't want to have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Right? So that was in the in the middle of that starting to happen. So it was a little shock value to it, but mm -hmm. then it started to be, okay, Biggie is acceptable, mm -hmm. you know, as a character of what he does, not just like what he think, what people think he influenced, because brands and artists could be like that. Like, we don't want to have that influence connected to us. You know what I'm saying? Now, what you talking about, Biggie, pinching himself before he went in there for you, Dallas, were there any artists that you got a chance to work with that you had to pinch yourself and say, wait a minute, I can't believe I'm in here working with so-and-so, and then what was that experience like? Or did it get to a point to where it was just all the same after a while? Hmm, it, 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 it was the same difference, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, I was looking to Rand Rand. I definitely was pinching myself. Yeah. Because their voice was just so distinctive. You'd be like, oh, man, that, dude, that's that sound, you know? Yeah. Um, you working with Michael, you're like, hey, you work with Michael Jackson, that's another one. So it's like you, the thing about it is I was able to grow up on most of the people I work with. Mm. All right, so like it was like, you know, dang, man, like I was listening to this or watching this or wanting to be that keyboard player in their band and wanting to do that, you know. So I grew up on all of, the, all of that, and now you're working with them. So it's like, so at first you're just always like, damn. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Then it starts to be like, okay. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> Who pissed you off in the studio to where you was like, you know what? I'm sick of y'all shit and I'm up out of this thing. If it's only time that's really happened, because I try to I try to vet that before. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to be in a position where I'm working I'm now I'm working with somebody, I done got money to work with them and then I don't like them. Yeah. So if I ain't, I, I, I vetted that out before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what, this ain't, I don't think that works out. 
Um, but, you know, I had a hard time with Macy Gray. She's the only artist I probably had a hard time with because she, I mean, she was cool. We were friends. Mm -hmm. um, but she was also so used to doing her own stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't really had a hard I don't think I've ever been like, you know, that's it to nobody because I try to vet that out before I work with people. Yeah. I feel like if I'm going to go in there with not knowing who I'm working with, I can't do my best stuff. So nice. I spent a couple of days going to talk to you and hang out before we even did anything. Big old facts. 